My name is Emily Bedeen, and the piece I'll be talking about today is held in the Crystal Bridges in the 1940s Canal Gallery. The piece Trinity was created by Adolf Gottlieb in 1962. Gottlieb created Trinity using oil on canvas. The main colors used are three primary colors in black, creating suspended discs in a white negative space. By using the oil, the colors appear extremely strong and bright. Surrounding a large amount of the black, light grays and browns are used, giving texture and form to the piece, creating the illusion of a shadow. The previously mentioned discs are floating in the negative space above the black lines. A smaller yellow circle is suspended off to the side, filled with one intense shade of yellow. These circles are two-dimensional and are given no depth and no illusion of form. The black lines underneath seem to be resting on the ground by the shadows painted behind them. However, these lines do not appear to be stationary. Gottlieb gave them rhythm, created with a swooping, curling, and curving stroke. A similar rhythm is seen in the four circles at the top. Like the beat of the music, the difference in the size of the circles coupled with the differing space between them causes the beat or rhythm of the artwork to change. Since there is rhythm in both parts of the piece, it becomes very harmonious and works very well together. In addition, these principles make the piece balanced. Gottlieb accomplished this by filling the negative space on the bottom portion of the canvas and the negative space on the top portion of the canvas with even proportions of paint. The spacing between the circles allows them to span more of the page and balance out the black lines. Having lived through the Great Depression in both of the World Wars, Gottlieb has seen the worst the world has to offer. He created abstract works of art as a simple expression of the complex thought. He used his paint as an extension of his mind, creating abstract pieces filled with emotion and visually enticing elements. He learned these abstract skills while studying art at the Louvre in Paris, traveling through France and Germany, and finally studying at the Parsons School of Design in New York City. His travels only expanded his vast view on the world, adding more dimensions to his many art pieces such as Vigil, which he created soon after the Second World War as an attempt to create a piece of art that transcends the barriers of culture, time, and language. However, Gottlieb said that he had no intended emotion for the piece Trinity, and instead hoped to unearth emotions already contained in the viewer. Many of his pieces use abstract forms of typical shapes to allow the viewer to choose their own emotions. While not his most well-known piece, Trinity holds significance as one of Gottlieb's last works. The mixtures of designs within this painting create a strong contrast and bring about many questions, the main one being, is there an intended religious undertone? The title Gottlieb chose for this piece is very religious in many ways. The Holy Trinity is well known in the Christian culture as another name for God's three states, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The three largest orbs are raised higher than the yellow orb and black lines, possibly symbolizing heaven. Though Gottlieb was not known to be religious, towards the end of his life he began creating more seemingly political or religious abstracts. Gottlieb's piece belongs in the abstract expressionism category of isms. Gottlieb's trinity leans more towards the action painting rather than a color field painting. This means that his strokes seem to have more movement, which was popular amongst many other great artists like, such as Jackson Pollock and Willem de Kooning. This form of abstract expressionism did not surface until after World War II, with Gottlieb being one of the first to hop on the bandwagon. With the rise of abstract expressionism, artists began using more vivid colors and less geometry. These expressionists became known as the New York School, and they created that was, for the first time, distinctly American. In this new form of art, the main goal of many of the artists was to explore how their excessive use of color and visual effects changed human emotions. The artists felt that their pieces were made to be felt rather than understood. In Trinity, this is especially true. Since there are no real clues as to what prompted Gottlieb to paint this abstract piece, you have to infer the mo emotions behind it. Abstract expressionists often tap into minimalism in their pieces as well, in an attempt to emphasize certain parts of their piece and allow each element to be able to be processed. You can see this use of minimalism in many of Gottlieb's pieces in his burst collection. The vast amounts of negative space emphasize his strong bursts of color. It draws attention to the colors being used and allows the viewer to admire the many different parts of the piece, which one would not as easily do if the abstract art was more jumbled or cluttered. Gottlieb's ability to evoke a wide range of emotions by simple brushstrokes on canvas placed him among many of the greatest artists of the 20th century and hold him in high regard still today. I chose this piece because no matter how often I visited Crystal Bridges, I had to stop and admire it every time. The piece is so dynamic in every way, from its color range to its use of negative space. Everything about it seems to be in conflict with each other, yet it is so harmonious in essence. I love the fluidity of the black lines on the bottom of the canvas, flowing into each other. They seem to contain so much emotion that they couldn't contain themselves, splattering some of it up onto the middle of the canvas. The proportions of the three dots, big versus small, brought feelings of inadequacy to mind. The yellow dot is so much smaller than the three large dots, yet it is visually just as prominent.